And we are on storm watch again at 630. Hail covering the ground in Longmont. That was just one spot that saw violent weather roll through this afternoon. Well, now those storms are rumbling out east. The CBS4 Mobile Weather Lab drove through a pocket of intense rain along I-76 in Wiggins. Our meteorologist Chris Spears is tracking those storms out east. He's with the Mobile Weather Lab in Washington County right now. And Chris, just a few minutes ago, we were talking about all the hail where you are. And now, Jim, it's gone just like that. It was all part of this storm that you see there in the distance. The storm is now pushed on into western Kansas. But boy, what a storm it was. Take a look at this video and notice how we go from completely dry pavement right into the hail shaft of this severe worn storm as it rolled down Highway 34 from Akron through Otis and on into Yuma and Yuma County. That storm laid down so much hail they had to call out the snow plows in some communities. Here's a look at Doppler radar and you can see there are still scattered showers in parts of northeastern Colorado, but for the most part, the bulk of these storms have pushed off into western Kansas where they have a very long night ahead with a severe weather outbreak. Here live in Otis, Rob's kind of giving you a view. You can see there's a little hail left over maybe in some of the uh, grassy areas or in the shade, but I saved a little bit. I can't take credit for this. Rob actually got out and saved some hail. It was mostly the size of marbles, but Jim and Karen, we did find and see reports of some hail as large as golf balls here in eastern Colorado.